The class of 2017 and their families arrived on campus at Fayetteville State, beginning a new direction in their lives. They were greeted by fellow Broncos, offering a helping hand and a positive impression for their first day on campus. That's what it's all about. When you've been going through school, I've been here three years, I'm a senior, it's feel good to help someone, you know, give back to them and help them kind of guide them around the campus because this is a pretty big campus for HBCU. So it feels good, you know, doing our part as, as Omega and fellow Broncos that we can actually help the freshmen and help them get situated here on campus and make it a little easier for them. Lots of excitement could be found for the freshman class, but a little bit of nerves as well. It's, it's, it's real high. Well, what's, the, what's to counter the high energy is also the high anxiety. Parents separating from their children, sometimes for the first time in their lives. And that's why we have to convince them that they're in good hands with us. But uh, the, the kids are excited to come and we're excited to have them. So it's, it's a great weekend. Anxious. Really, and then happiness because, like, I'm going to learn new people and becoming friends with people and stuff. So, but I'm anxious to start classes and see and learn. Meeting new people and meeting my roommate and learning what FSU can teach me. Um, I'm just anxious for the events that's coming up, very excited about that. A little nervous about finding my way around campus and meeting new people because I'm really just close to myself. Um, it's going to be a little different because she did help me out a lot. Her siblings are younger and so now it's going to be, you know, not as much help as home as she usually do and I know I'm going to miss that about, you know, about her and just miss her in general. After settling into their rooms on Saturday, it was time to become official Broncos on Sunday at the pinning ceremony. Students from all backgrounds and walks of life received their class pins and some words of wisdom. To make it the best, here is what I challenge you to do. Be proud, be engaged, be involved, be active. I'm sure you've seen this slogan around because it is an FSU slogan. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings nor lose the common touch, if foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you but none too much, if you can fill the everlasting minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that is in it and which is more, and I'm gonna stop there and just add, you will be successful. Yeah, hey, I was really inspired, especially when I heard the Chancellor with his story from being, D being from D.C. and everything he overcame. So that tells me if he did it, I can do it. And of course, with the, um, with the speakers who were only like a few who just graduated and they got great jobs. And they were like close to age and it really hit like, if you work hard, you can be successful. Nicholas Cranfield is transferring in as a junior from Community College and he's excited about finishing at Fayetteville State. I'm definitely looking forward to coming to a bigger university. I want to graduate with my uh, bachelor's in biology, uh, do pre-med so I can go into med school. Um, I'm still debating about PA or all the way to MD, but we'll see what happens. The weekend ended with a new beginning for the class of 2017. When I first applied and I realized I was coming here, I was like, man, there's gonna be so much. I don't know if I can take on everything. But after getting it all, you know, getting the first week over, I feel great. I feel like I'm going to do well. I feel like it's really a family. 